full of the tough law firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. Welcome to The Legal Fix, a new age radio show brought to you by The Tough Law Firm. We're the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around answering your toughest legal questions. Hey, hey, hey! hey Welcome hey, hey. to The Legal Fix, the a new legal age fix. radio legal show fix. by The Tough legal Law fix. Firm, answering your toughest legal, legal su- questions. Call us at 936 900 2381. I'm your host, Bruce Tuff. I have with me Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, B-dub. super lawyer G.I. Jerome, who's about to be a baby. He's on Baby Watch right now. He's Jeremy about Hall. to be a baby. He's, He's about on to be a baby He's daddy. A baby baby watch due date today for today? Remy, right? Yeah. Today. And when then the, what's the countdown? Are we going to go for until it, until Remy decides to until come? Until Remy decides to come. Oh, yeah, I think I she'll like get that. induced in a week, but okay. we got some time until then. Okay, what's the alarm call? What Ruby happens when Ruby she's calls? Call you show. just drop the mic and go. She's going right? to call the show. I'm She's dropping okay. the mic and call go. The like okay. All right. Dropped the mic on Dr. Shelley yesterday. You did? Oh, yeah. Oh, I dropped the mic on her. Hard. Boy, did you see that? Boom. Bam. No, it's opposite. It's opposite, Dr. <laughs> she Shelley. She needed a first aid kit. Yeah, Super crush. Like, you know what the most offensive me, part about that was? What was that? You didn't call her doctor. I did, yeah. Shelley. You said, Shelley, you want to incorporate us and turn us into a general law city run by the state. Yeah, that's right. And you know She's what? Like, I don't. But doctor. I, I don't call myself a doctor. And I'm a doctor of jurisprudence. I think only doctors should be medical doctors. So, haha. Oh, wait. Got, she is a medical doctor. Got her. <laughs> oh, is she? I didn't know. Boom. Oh, guess who our guest is? Oh, my we, goodness. We have. So, oh, man. We, we got a celebrity. Is, uh, we have Finally. A big, this is the, this I, I is have the been only, begging for this. This is the only person more interesting than you in the Woodlands. Oh, absolutely. The only absolutely. One. Oh, my gosh. So, the most interesting woman. In ladies the and gentlemen. Without further ado. Nelda Luce Blair. Welcome, Nelda. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Welcome I was so excited show. that you were going to be on the show. I dressed in your favorite color Ooh, with my, with red. my red line. Nice. Yes. Red. You're classy, Bruce. Uh, okay, I got to tell you a little bit about Nelda. All right, here's just the this, – these are a few of the high points. Triple board certified attorney. I don't know anyone else who's triple board certified attorney. So that is that is a big Me deal. Also, uh, regent for two schools, mine – Cougars, University of Houston. She was chairman board of the Regents. And um, uh, Stephen F. Austin. Uh, Axum Jackson. And, yeah, Axum Jackson. Out in right. Yeah, Nacogdoches. Right. So, um, I mean, that now who, who has been a Regent at two schools like that? And then my personal favorite, uh, the founding chair of the Woodlands Township, the founding chair of the Convention and Visitors Bureau of the Woodlands, and formerly the uh, Town Center Improvement District Chair, TCID, and that uh, during that time did the whole transition from the Community Association type of government, TCID, to the Woodlands Township. And welcome, Nelda. Praise. Welcome, welcome to the show. You speak so nice of me. Good to be here. <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> we do. You. We love you. Good. Yeah. Do you know that? We love you. Yeah, you better. Yes. We <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a personal story to share about Nelda. So, um, Nelda was chairman of the Woodlands Chamber of Commerce, and I was chairman of the Woodlands Chamber of Commerce. This is my pre-chairman, but I said, you know, Nelda, I've been doing the team lead for the um, uh, Economic uh, Outlook Conference. So, it's kind of a big deal, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And so, I said, hey, Nelda, would you like to be a co-team leader with me? And she said, sure, sure, I I, I will do that. And I said, you know what we're really trying to do this year is we're trying to, and first of all, before we do that, we emceed in the, the, for 12 years or 13 years, I think. So that gig is ended. So if anyone wants uh, two excellent emcees for your Economic Outlook Conference, we're available. Yes. We love that gig. <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't know why they kicked us but, off. So here, well, here's the beginning when you first came on the team. We were saying, we're here, we had our committee meeting. We're all sitting around and, 
we said, you know, we just need to do something big. We got to big build the conference. We want to get the attendance built up. And then Nelda says, what about if I invite the governor to speak, be our keynote speaker? <laughs> <laughs> That'll get him. We just that showed got, a picture of her and the governor. Team. Oh, it was. Got and him. he and, did. And we had a thousand people come to the luncheon. We had to turn people away. It was amazing. And yeah, it was Governor it, Rick Perry. He did a great oh, job. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. And, yeah. And from that point on, I think that locked in our gig as the MCs <laughs> for the EOC. <laughs> you think that did it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. And I will tell you, we look forward that I look forward to it every year. We, we'd have to get up at five in the morning, and we would do our run through rehearsal, and it was always done professionally. We were we were we were working without a net. There would always be something they would throw at us. Oh, definitely without oh. a net. We, we oh. actually never really did the run through. You came that morning with your big blue pen and marked Nelda. Bruce. That's Nelda, it. I Bruce. know. I know. <laughs> Sounds and familiar. <laughs> yeah, it, and it's a good teamwork. And just to come back to current history, Nelda and I presented uh, to the four o'clock speaker series on incorporation. It was a hot we, mic. Yeah, and we found out that um, one, we didn't have a PowerPoint, and then two, we were splitting 15 minutes instead of having 15 minutes apiece. And so Nelda's going through the slides and saying, okay, how would we'll do that? Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Right. On the and fly. We did. Yeah. Absolutely. And y'all did great. Absolutely. Well, well it, we've spoken enough together, we can do that in our sleep. It was, and, it were, and I actually looked back on it and I went, how do we do this? I don't know. How do we do this? You guys are naturals. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, it's perfect. Well, welcome to the show, Nelda. Thanks, Bruce. We're glad are so we're, we're so glad to have you. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to have, um, we're going to take a break. But when we come back, we're going to do hot topics, gentlemen. No, hot oh, wait, seat. no, hot seat. Hot Let's seat. do that. An Nelda. extra hot, hot okay, seat. Okay, here's the thing. Nelda today. came prepared. Red hot. She came, came prepared with sunglasses because the glare of our studio lights, but only you would only know to wear sunglasses if you'd watch the show. Absolutely. And she have watched, you watched, have you watched the show? Yeah, these are my fifth generation Texan sunglasses, by the way. Fifth oh, look generation at them. Texan yeah. Nelda Blair. Oh, and they've yeah. got, yeah, and they've got glitter on the side. No, yeah. what's the. the Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Stars. Yeah. Stars. Yeah, of course, Texas I watched stars. the show. Uh, you needed somebody to watch it. I watched it. <laughs> we do have three viewers. Yeah, so we do. Good. Thank you. Before Thank you before we do go to break, yes. Nelda, where do you work and how do people find you if they want to get a hold of you? I'm at the Blair Law Firm, kind of like the tough law firm, only we're just Blair, not tough. So. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a website for people to go? Blairfirm.com. Blairfirm.com. All Thank right. You, Hey, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. Nelda's going to be on the hot seat, and we're going to talk about the hot topic is really going to be incorporation. You ready for that, Nelda? Absolutely. We're going to, okay. We're going to do it. part two. All right, everybody, put your seat belts on. All right, we'll be right back. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. Top 40s. Pop, rock and roll, all at one station, 91.1 FM, the ball. Go to YouTube.com on your smartphone, tablet, or PC. Subscribe us on YouTube at Radio The Boss, 91.1 FM. Hey, hey, welcome hey, back hey, to The Legal hey, Fix, hey, where we answer your toughest legal questions. Of course, you can call us during our show. We're talking about incorporation, and we have a celebrity in the house. Celebrity Nelda Luce Blair is here. Great, it's tough. Hey, so what we traditionally do, Nelda, and I don't know if you know this or not, is we put our guests on the hot seat. So lovely. I know. The it is. It is. Your I've been on the hot seat. We did a surprise hot seat for uh, G.I. G. Jerome. Jerome. I think I did one. Um, we did it for Gil Staley last week. He was so nervous. He was just so <laughs> As nervous. As well he should have been. Yeah. And we've done it to a few <laughs> other. Yeah. So we expect you to crush this. Well, Nelda. if I don't know the answers, crush. I'll make them up. So. That's, all, that's perfect. As quick that's as perfect. you can, because yeah, you're quick on your feet. Yeah. Quick on your feet. Okay. So just be a good so attorney. So Carlos, our producer is going to start the clock and we'll start the questions. 
Here we go. How do you spell Nelda? N-E-L-D-A. Are you related to Prime Minister Tony Blair? No. Are you a cougar? Yes. Eat em up cougs or sick em bears? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yes. Who robbed the cradle harder? David Lee Hall or Jeremy Don, I mean, Jimmy Don Blair? About equal. <laughs> what do you call your husband? Bear. What's Remy going to call you? Aunt Nell. <laughs> we don't say the G word. We say the... Aunt Nell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I grew up in East Texas watching Adrian Peterson play football. So do the drapes match the rest of the interior design at your p- new place next a- to it? Absolutely. What's your favorite Marisism? <laughs> Drag racing. What does someone? What does giving someone the red fingernail mean? It's just a point. <laughs> Show us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> In a typical Nelda week, how many outfits are red? 100%. How much did you pay for your red drop-top bins? Always on sale. Have you Zero. Ever, have you ever sank or partially sank a vessel at sea? Yes. Have you ever been in a fist fight? No. 100-yard dash, you versus Gordy Bunch. Whose hair looks best at the end? Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it true you were a TV lawyer on the show Power of Attorney? Absolutely. How many times have you appeared on TV? A hundred, a gazillion, how many a bunch. An- han- how many animals have you rescued? A hundred, gazillions, a bunch. How many Astros games have you attended? A hundred, gazillion, <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> what lifetime accomplishment are you most proud of? Oh, I... I can't answer that. Being There's, on the show. Uh, yeah, being on this show, of course. Yeah. Too many too many blessings to count. Who's your favorite current elected official? Greg Abbott. Former elected official. Rick Perry. Yay. Which elected official spends the most time in the mirror? <laughs> Rick Perry. Who's the most unassuming person in power? Nelda Blair. Gosh. Done. Probably, yeah, me. You, I'm not in power, but. If you're opposing you counsel. stop me on that one. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, we're going to keep we're going. If you, because we have a slide. If your opposing counsel is quadruple board certified, are you the underdog? <laughs> no, because I'm going to be quadruple next month. Hey. No way. <laughs> wow. Whoa. What's your next bid for elected office? None. How about a volunteer role like chairwoman of the junior high league? <laughs> How about I'm already doing that. <laughs> when, <laughs> junior high league. When, when you visit the Capitol in Austin, who's the first office you visit? The governor. How about in D.C.? John Cornyn. What's your favorite place you've ever been? Hawaii. Favorite car you've ever owned? My Jeep that I drive right now. If you need someone to get you an exception to the rule, who do you call? (laughs) The nearest judge. What would you rather be bound by the ankles, whipped against a brick wall, or smashed in the temple by a swing from Babe Ruth? None of the above. (laughs) (laughs) Incorporation, for or against? Absolutely against at this time. Give a wise word to an aspiring young female attorney. Never, never let them see you get sweaty or cry, ever. Did you love the hot seat? Loved it. And? <laughs> and a girl. Nice. Right. Nelda, good, great job. Job. Yeah, great good job. Great job. That was a good one. We had we worked very hard on the hot seat questions. Those were <laughs> man. And you got extra <laughs> time too. You did. Bound by the ankles one. That was uh, would, you, would you rather be bound by the ankles and no, smashed against a brick no, wall? No. Or, or no, hid no. in the temple by a swing from yeah. Babe Ruth. <laughs> Babe did I answer, Your head's getting did, smashed either way. Such a guy Babe Babe did I answer that question? Did y'all need to find Did I answer that question? Yeah, you asked. Okay. Y'all she need said, to find oh another gosh. version of that question for girls. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We will, we'll fix that. Yeah. We'll soften <laughs> it up. So <laughs> what now, why do we? Why does Jeremy call you Aunt Nelda? Because he's not allowed to call me what I really kind of <laughs> am in our odd family. <laughs> I have a diagram of it. Family. Yeah. Oh, you have to, you okay. have to diagram it out. Uh, because that's, yeah, that is complicated. But I love that We're answer. family. But so te- you, let me just say, technically about? I am Jeremy's step-grandmother. Step, but, step. But his father is older than me. I so, see. oh, my gosh. The generations God. are Oh, my yeah. gosh. See, so there we are. See, here's the point. We tell, we reveal the truth <laughs> on the legal fix, right. unlike the Wait, township pull, doing pull financial models. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> pull that picture. Who's Is that an Amish guy on the left? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at Jeremy. No, he looks like the guy that worked for Trump that did all the social media. Thank you. You know, he does. He looks like that guy. Sharp fella. Oh, my God. beard. Yeah, I had the Warhawk back then, too. That's legit. Yeah. That's before Ruby controlled my haircut. Yeah, absolutely. We like it now. We like it, G.I. Jerome. You look good. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. 
All right, so look, yes. incorporation is on my mind right now. All right. Now. Yeah, I, it's on my too. mind. So Nelda and I have spoke at two events. One is the 4 o'clock speaker series. We're doing the history of the Woodlands. So we're talking about how the township got formed and all the effort it took to get us free from the city of Houston. And we spoke at Rotary doing the same sort of topic. And real, real quick, were the crowds for or against? I think they were against. Uh, what, what, my feeling at both it, of the events. They were. Were they? Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. So Strongly against. Yeah. So, Nelda, just... Well, 100% except for one person yesterday. Well, yeah. Shelly said, I guess I'm the only one for it, so let me tell you why I'm for it, and came up with these three bogus reasons. And entered the no line of fire. All. It made no sense at all. Oh, I think she said, and we'll get annexed by the city of Houston. It was yeah. something like, uh, we have a lawyer. We found a lawyer, and this lawyer told us that... That, that the Supreme Court hasn't ruled on that. I go, for God's sakes, Dan Huberty said that the Woodlands will never be annexed by the city of Houston. I mean, what's isn't that good enough for everybody? And we have a contract that says we won't be annexed, and now there's a state law passed by the legislature, both houses, by the way, signed by the governor, yeah, that we won't be annexed. But wait, we don't know that? That's why I was, that's why I had to come to Nelda texted the, the Supreme Court and got a ruling during the meeting. <laughs> oh, yeah, she they did. Said against Eva Guzman just advisory told her, opinion. Yeah, said it's, no, that won't happen. Thank you, Nelda. You're, you're welcome. So, um, <laughs> Nelda, your position on incorporation, why are you against the incorporation? I just don't think it's a thing to do right now, Bruce. We were just voted number one best city to live in America. Best city Niche. to live in America yeah, as a special purpose district. Yeah. Hey, why change it? It doesn't get any better than live. that. Why as Danny you... Signorelli said yesterday, where are we going to go from one? Well, you'll go down. down. I mean, it's just a it's just a kind of a weird phenomenon that the township board, only five directors, would now say, I'm going to vote to have an incorporation election in a very low turnout, odd year. And on top of that, we don't even know what the financial model is yet. But let's have that election first, and then we'll figure out how to set the tax rate afterwards. I and think somebody like Nancy Pelosi said something like that, didn't she? I absolutely, yeah. yeah. It so it's, out, huh? it's it's weird. The and lowest election in the cycle. The lowest the election lowest ever the will be this for the biggest, the biggest and most important decision anybody will ever be banking. Is like for the okay, women's. affects your children, affects your property, absolutely. affects your money, affects and your irreversible job. if we do it now. Yeah. It's done. It's a done deal. And we have till 2057, Nelda, to At make least. this. this I mean, this, uh, and but we're voting on it in 90 days. Yes. And we're going to have the rock bottom of all possible turnouts. So the fewest people are going to decide. I think that Gordy's position is that he's got the, the Patriot Pack in his pocket in the Tea Parties, and they've already said, we'll get the votes out, Gordy. And what I they can't do. understand Wait, is why party? the conservative, yeah, why are Patriot these conservative the Tea Party wants more limited government? government. We're going to, we want to layer government and tax the heck out of you. Taxation I mean, what is, is a city bigger government? Tea party? Oh, cities are huge. And oh, you get absolutely. The, rate, the rate increases are enormous. I mean, you get, uh, you're going to be paying for your waste and trash services. You're going to pay for Pensions. Water rate fees. Pen, I mean, it goes on and on. And so you're thinking about it. Oh, but guess Gordy what? Can your, be tax, mayor. your tax rate won't go up. It won't go up. I mean, come on. Really? How, you, how, how are we going to build a police department? We've saved well, for it. Well, we're actually keeping hall. the same model. We saved for we're going to keep the same model. And we're we're going to use our life savings? And yeah, then we're yeah, going to use $107 million it. first to compress the tax. But I've got $107 million in unallocated money and surplus, and I'll just keep that as funding everything we had. But we were taxed on that money, too. Yeah, absolutely. We should have that money coming back to us. Where did like it come from? Like we did, Nelda. Absolutely. That's what we did. We gave that How money long back. will it take to run that bank empty? Uh, five years. And five then you'll years. get the wallop. And, and like, everyone will wake like up Dr. Too. Shelley said yesterday, she says, well, it can only go up three uh, three cents a, a year. It's it's capped by law. So you can only go up three cents a year. In three perpetuity. times five is 15 cents, right. which is going to be about a 70% tax I think increase. everybody there had did the math. I think everybody figured it out. They went, whoa, you're saying it's not going up, but it will go up. Right. And I wanted to, the, speaking of doing math, I wanted to ask this yesterday, but as usual, we had a bevy of questions at the end. If you guys count calculated your tax your personal tax rate increase on the Woodlands Incorporation Study dot com's calculator. Crap, I can't even figure no, that thing out. No, but I bet you have. I tried. Is it, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> is it is it accurate? I want you guys to look at it and tell me whether it's accurate and if not where can people go to get an accurate number of how much it's going to cost them? Okay. Personally. I'm going to think Good about point. that. I'm going to take a break. We're going to come back after the break for our third segment and we'll figure that out. Incorporation. Thank you. Thank you GI Jerome. GI Jerome.
I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full-service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. Ask for your favorite songs using WhatsApp. The number 936-900-2381. Motorcycles are not invisible, but they can seem that way to drivers who aren't paying close attention. Look twice for motorcycles. There's a life riding on it. Hey, 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 welcome back to The Legal Fix. The legal Got my co-host, co Brandon Riley, Boy Wonder, G.I. Jerome, Jeremy Hall, and our celebrity guest, Nelda Blair. So welcome back, everyone. Thank and, you. Uh, thank we you, were hot you. and heavy into the incorporation discussion. Yep. So a lot to I, talk about. I wanna, I'm going to kind of hand it off to you guys because you guys went to, well, let's see, uh, Wonder Boy went to one of them. G.I. Uh, G. Jerome's been to both, right? Right. So what's your impression? What, what's your you're kind of you got Jerome. you're new and young oh you, oh, you're I asking was, me first yes. oh, well do you want to wait yeah i want to wait okay jerome wait. jerome, we'll you, jerome you, what's your impression say. what do you, what do you think's going on the the arguments for incorporation are that we're missing out on federal tax dollars funding that we could get if we're a city we're also the black sheep of the local government and we don't get as much as we should from the county we don't control our own destiny on our in our own roads and we can't respond to emergency situations like floods and hurricanes because we're not incorporated. So we need to incorporate so we can grow up into a big city and handle our own business. Unite the Woodlands as one. Okay. What do you guys say is to that? that? Your, your, is that your Gordy Bunch impersonation it right is. there? That okay. was good. I no, it. that was that good. Was nice. I like you it. Kinda did so it. are you going to run for mayor also? No, I'm out the Woodlands. Okay, yeah, Nelda, right. you've got to respond to that. Here, here, here's my, my question, Bruce. Didn't we already unite the Woodlands? We did. Didn't we, we did. do that? Yes. In 2007, we had an election? We did. Why did y'all leave part of it in Harris County? Well, it's all <laughs> one It's all <laughs> one Woodlands, and it won't change. It is all Woodlands. It's very unique that we cross over two counties. So and the Harris Montgomery. legislation that actually includes all the boundaries of the Woodlands that are defined, including Creekside, which is in Harris County. It makes us even more special and more unique, the right. fact that we Absolutely. have we have commissioners in Harris County, we have three commissioners in Montgomery County, we work with all of them, we work with all of our constables, Does we have an incredible police, uh, policing, community policing model, actually probably the only one that is the best in the country with the lowest com crime rate in the country. Whoa. And wow. by the way, Bruce and I both, as chairman of the township, got along with every one of those other elected officials and entities because we worked with them and partnered with them. We did. Does an incorporation and, and improve our relationships with those entities? Does it improve it or make it worse? No, it, well, actually it isolates you. You yeah. just kind of become your own little silo and you build the Great Wall of the Woodlands and you stick your finger in everybody else's but eye. But you have that's power. What, you have city point. power to oh, lord off. Oh, you're city real? Power? Yeah, you got to be or, the mayor gets hey, stopping ability. your dog from power to task. Okay. The, the num <laughs> the num stopping your dog the, from barking. That is the number <laughs> oh, one I don't ordinance. want any sparklers in the driveway. I want those kids to be fine. Yeah, number no one more sparklers that people in the driveway. Say they want to pass is barking dogs. Number one. Number two is cars parked in the street, which yeah. both of which we have covenants or nuisance laws. We do. Come. But we will, do. will the dogs obey the ordinance? No, nope, not my basset hounds. No, no way. <laughs> no way. Not my little Stevie. Stevie won't do it. <laughs> that yeah. won't happen. And it's not a reason. And I'm going to have to put my cats on leashes too. That's that, the other oh, thing. Oh, leash cats. Let me throw yeah. it back to you guys. What's that? Oh, hey, do we I, have we a call. Have a, oh, we have a call. We have a caller. All right. You know, every time we do this show, we get the switchboard lit up with calls, but our Carlos screens the calls, and some are just not relevant. You know, but we'll take angry. Welcome callers to too. the legal fix. Welcome to the legal fix. Hey, caller. Hey, caller. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so hello. Oh, hello. hi. Hi, caller. What's your question? Uh, my question is, what is Gordy Bunch's motivation for pushing so hard on incorporation? Haven't a clue. You know, I it's I think he's a um, a closet megalomaniac. 
<laughs> that's my call. So I, I have no, there's no rational basis to do what's been going on and have a personal vendetta. It might be he hates developers and he had a lawsuit against uh, Howard Hughes and this is the, you know, I'm, I'm really pissed that I lost that lawsuit so I'm going to go ahead and um, punish you guys and I'm going to get a zoning and planning ordinance and I won't let you build anything in the woodlands anymore. But it'll punish all the residents. It'll punish us by taxes, permit fees, cost rates, uh, all the all the city rate increases. Or I'm in charge now, and I'm going to do what I want to do. That's you know, I, I I mean that's just a simple. Well, there was I, a question asked yesterday, Bruce, at the event we were at, that someone said, "Is there an organized group for incorporation besides the township what board?" What was the answer? The answer was no. No, they're organized. Why not? Again, well, Gordy Bunch and Gordy Bunch and five of his. Uh, Minions. So hey, let me ask you, caller, if you're still on here, what is your what it what is your reason? Okay, what do you what do you think? Do you know, caller? Oh, did he cut off? Okay. We lost him. Okay, we didn't good. Even get his what, name. What's the, talking I, about? Oh, oh, here oh he you is. tell me, caller. What? Tell me what you think his motivation is, because we're stumped. Well, You've I, just stopped I, I the think, panel. I think his uh, no, I think his motivation is purely personal. Um, he campaigns as a conservative, and and he um, denigrates his opponents. He calls everybody that opposes him liberal. But I've never seen a conservative that wanted to add an additional layer of government on top of people that wanted to increase their taxes to no benefit and wanted to uh, create a whole new level of bureaucracy that will never go away. So it can't be that um, he is conservative and pushing a conservative position. It, it's got to be the personal issues that you mentioned as to why he's pushing this so hard. He's, he's made this, it's like his life's work or something. So, you know, has he been working on this for a long time? Oh, yeah. Oh, Every it year. started, this started uh, when he got on the board. Nelda and I both serve with Gordy on yes. the board. I mean, we're talking from personal experience and personal exposure, but Gordy is, uh, you know, he's a challenge to work with, and it's got to be his way or the highway. Do you I think mean, there's just no compromise, be... and that goes with dealing with county officials, our county uh, commissioner, our county judge, our law enforcement, uh, deal, the, even the airport deal. I mean, it just doesn't get along like, with anyone. Yeah, I remember we were trying to do the transportation and expand the trolley to go to all of our hotels and go to our medical center area. And uh, Gordy said, yeah, I'll do that, but I don't want it to go to Hughes Landing because that's corporate welfare. I mean, it's just personal stuff. It's just he personal like attacks. Yeah, do you think just he just wants attacks. to be mayor? Probably. There are quite a few people above. that think he wants to run for higher office. I don't yeah. know that mayor that's true. Mayor would be a better but, stepping stone yeah. than no. director of a board. He, he once told me that um, state rep was not high enough. That it would have to be Congress. Yeah, higher up. Go. Well, he can run for Kevin's seat. Has he put yeah, his name can, in for Kevin's he seat? Not go, he needs to no. run for Kevin's seat. And then, because that's that's purely a cesspool of taxes and f and rates, federal yeah, government. So right. just, yeah, you have you'll some, be right in. I go, yeah, hey Gordy, I'll vote right for in. you for there. You'll yeah. do great. Man. I think a lot yeah, of people are my asking, taxes. pork barrel lot spending, right? A lot of people are asking the same question this caller is asking. Yeah, and then you can, and then Gordy, you can you can do a big, huge corporate tax, okay? And then you can really get back at everybody. All right, good for you. We we have some slides from yesterday if you oh, want to talk about any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of our slides. You can you can talk about the top ten. Top 10 slide. Let's put that up. Why? So, so at the uh, Rotary event, which was fabulous, Nelda and I spoke at it, and Danny Signorelli did. You talk about someone who's fired up. I mean, I knew when we were doing our show, I said, Nelda, let's give, let's give Danny some time because he, was, he didn't get to do his slideshow at the Chamber of Commerce. So when he got going, I mean, he was ripping he's it, passionate. wasn't he? Was he was up. ripping yeah. it. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's homegrown. Yes. He's here. His children are here. He lives in the woodlands. He has his business in the woodlands, and yep. he is directly impacted. And he goes, and I've spent countless hours going through all these slides. He's talking about the township's slides right here that had, uh, oh, here it is. Here's his, uh, here's his top ten reasons. So this is why we should not incorporate. But he went through the whole side deck of the, did uh, a great of, job. The, yeah, of the township, and it shows how there's a, just a gigantic shell game about moving money moving from money. one pot to another to compress the property tax rate and then hide all the assessments and the fees that are going to be tagged on us. Right. It's, a, it's actually, um, it, it, you know, it is a shell game. It's a shell game. It's almost it a is. fraud on the community. Right. I think yeah. it's ironic that 
we were voted number one city in the nation, mm -hmm. and we're not a city. That's right. And so now, now you're going to go make us a city and absolutely break whatever got us to number one in the first place. Well, so what's what's the now that? That? Well, what got us there is that Bloomberg article that I quoted. It came out in 2012, and the quote was, we run the city like a business. We run the community like a business, but we're not a city. And that's the magic of what we do in the Woodlands. We have a low tax rate. We receive county services. We have a supplement to our Go own back. property tax assessment rate that we increase and enhance. We created a community policing model that's unlike anywhere in the United States. It has many layers and levels Excellent. of community policing. Excellent. It's just Excellent. fabulous. All right, here One we go. More. Oh, here it is. The vote there is you in go. November. There's your article, Cost, that's my article. Okay, so there it is. Yeah. And uh, the township is run more like a business than a municipal government. Why the hell would you want to change that? Who's going to change that, right? Right. I so mean, vote against. Yeah. Early vote Guardian in October, it. and the election is early November. Yeah, Nelda, November the dates 2nd. are November 2nd. That's when the election, and there's two propositions. Make sure you go out and vote no on the incorporation that's issue. That's right, yeah. against both of them. Yeah. Guys, Unless you want to raise your taxes. Township. Save the township. Preserve the township and the quality of life that we all love. Check out some real detail at preservethewoodlands.com. Yeah, and uh, the uh, township future also has That's one. Right. But preservethewoodlands.com has got a great uh, pack, and it's just about uh, interested residents who live in the woodlands, who have been invested in this community, who want to give you the true facts. So. Thank you, Nelda. Thank we you. appreciate you thank being you on the show. Yeah, thank you for uh, coming on. Thank Absolutely. you, G.I. Jerome, for getting uh, Aunt Nell to come on our show. That's a big deal. It we is. Are, we are so honored. I really want to say that. And you know what? We me love too. you. We love you and, and everything you've done for the community. <laughs> thank you. Every, your community service to the state, to the national government, to our local community wouldn't be anything without you. We wouldn't. Really. And I personally would not be here on the show today without you. We because all... I, because I, I your mentorship oh. your mentorship oh, okay. who do you think i want to be like when i grow up i know we auntie all nelda why don't we you ever want to be like though we all yeah you got I it. Let, nelda's already got that on you should borrow Look, it was red, red day from today her. go kooks thank you yeah, go kooks go all kooks. right yay all right thank you we're thank out you we're going to see you next week we're live at noon every friday the legal fix where we answer your toughest legal questions the legal fix I'll be back.